<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back. So, two things. In the last video, I forgot that I was being recorded, so you can see me playing with my tripod, which is a little awkward. Um, also, I've been told that uh, my voice is soothing, or I guess the better word would be boring to some people. So, uh, yeah. So let me know if I need to be a little bit more energetic, because uh, that's one of the criticisms that I have, right? And so this is what this whole class is about. It's making mistakes and learning from them, right? And we have to get comfortable with that um, so that we can grow, <clears throat> right? Anyways, moving on. So today we have to learn how to convert units, right? <clears throat> so if you remember, you know, we, all of our lengths have to be in meters, all of our time has to be in seconds, all of our mass has to be in kilograms, okay? Let's get started. So this first one, 320 centimeters. So to convert it, what we're going to do is just, I'm just gonna rewrite uh, 320 again. So 320 centimeters. Now, to convert, we're gonna be doing something, using something called the uh, factor label method, or FLM. Uh, I don't know why it's called that. I don't know what is that. I just do it as converting, but, um, some people have brought it up and they said that it's FLM, so I'm going with that. All right, <clears throat> so you may have, might have seen this in chem, you might have seen this in bio. Um, basically what it's doing is uh, canceling units, units, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like soon. But first of all, I just wanna start with this one other fact that we know. If we're trying to convert from centimeters to meters, and we also know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, all right? And we're gonna use that to convert. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, you know, put a little ratio, a little fraction right here. Okay, and what we wanna do is put the unit that we don't want on the bottom, right? The reason why is because we wanna cancel it out with centimeters. And then we're gonna put the unit that we do want meters right up here, okay? So when these two cancel out, we're gonna be left with meters, which is what we want, right? And then I'm gonna put the 100 right here by the centimeters, and then the one up here by meters, okay? And we'll see that, right, centimeters cancels out on top and bottom. Um, so it's gonna be 320 multiplied by one, that's just 320 again, divided by 100, we will get an answer of about 3.20 meters long. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Um, I just want to do one more, and then I'm going to give the last one for practice. <clears throat> and again, let me know if you have any questions this, tomorrow when we're in synchronous learning. Um, you know, that's what we're here for. We're here to learn, and it's okay if you don't get it in the first try. <clears throat> All right, next, we have 8.09 times 10 to the fourth millimeters. Now, we know that one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters added together. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my little, we'll multiply it, I'm going to make my little fraction right here. <clears throat> okay, oops, this is supposed to be millimeters. Sorry about that. Um, Alright, so we want the units that we don't want down here, so they can cancel out, and then unit that we do want right here. So then we're going to put the 1 up here and the 1,000 down here. <clears throat> so again, we're just going to make our calculation. Alright. 8.09 times 10 to the 4th 
divided by 1,000, that gets us an answer of 80.9 meters. Boom. Just like that. <clears throat> okay. Now before we move on, I want to say a few things. So you don't have to do it this way. All right. You can. There's really two ways we can convert. One is a lot simpler and a lot easier, but it does require a little bit of memorization. Um, to make this go a lot faster, what you could do is when you're converting from centimeters to meters, all you have to do is move the decimal over two times to the left, right? That would give us 3.20 meters, and that's what our answer was, okay? And when converting from millimeters to meters, all we have to do is move the decimal point over three times to the right. To the left, sorry. <laughs> to the left, three times to the left. So I'm gonna write this one out. So convert it from scientific to regular by moving this over four times. So that's going to be 8.1234. Right, so moving it over one, two, three, four times. That's going to be about 80,000 millimeters. And then, so this is still in millimeters. And then to convert from millimeters to meters, we move that decimal over three times to the left which is going to give us our answer of 80.9 meters. Um, you can do this however way you want. You can either do it the long way, um, or you can do it um, the decimal moving way, whichever one you're more comfortable with. All right. <clears throat> so for your homework uh, today, I want you to convert 0.02 kilometers to meters. Got it. Okay. Now, moving on. So, also in physics, right, we have to deal with something called speed. Um, and the, the units for speed are meters per second. It's distance over time. So, and we're going to have to, you know, possibly convert from kilometers per hour, kilometer, um, or meters per hour, or something like that, or meters per minute, or kilometers per minute. I don't know. <clears throat> so we're gonna. So we start out with the unit in the top and also the bottom, and we have to cancel both of those out. So we're gonna take a look as to how that looks. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna start out. We're gonna convert five thousand. 500 centimeters per minute into meters per second. <clears throat> okay, well, first off, we know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And again, you don't have to write this, I just I usually don't write this either, actually, um, but it's just there to show you. Okay. <clears throat> so then to cancel out the centimeters, we're going to put 100 centimeters down here, and then the one meter up here. Boom. Great. Uh, so if we cancel the units, we now have meters per minute, but we don't want meters per minute want meters per second. So we're going to have to convert this minute into a second. All right, we also know that, our six, that there are 60 seconds in one minute. So I'm going to multiply over like this. We're going to want the seconds in the bottom this time. Okay, because the minutes are on bottom, 
we want minutes up here so that can cancel out. Right? So we, we're going to put our one minute up here, and then our 60 seconds in the bottom. Minute cancels out. There's one on top, one on bottom. And now the two units that we're left with are meters and seconds. Would you look at that? <coughs> now, all we have to do next is just type it into our calculator. We're going to do 5,500 um, divided by 100 and then divided by 60. That's going to give us an answer of about um, 0.916 repeating meters per second. And that's our answer. All right. All right, now your next problem for your homework is I want you to convert 60 kilometers per day into meters per second. That's all I have for you today. So please, if you have any, please, please, please come in with questions tomorrow so that I can help you. Um, anyways, have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.